Hello, I'm Terry Tuck, Sponge, Senior Strategist for NHS England. Obviously it's a tough time for the NHS right now. No one knows what's happened to all the GPs. They've all gone missing. Nobody has seen a GP in this country for at least six months now. You've got more chance of spotting an elephant on a unicycle. You phone up your doctor's surgery for an appointment. There's just an automated message laughing down the phone at you. If you go to A&E, by the time you get seen and get out of there, it's already the future. Everyone's riding around on hoverboards and living on space colonies. If you've got cancer, there's no chance of receiving any treatment. Take a couple of Nurofen, go to bed and wait for death. But listen, we're doing the best we can with the limited resources at our disposal. What we really need is more money from the public purse. How much money do we need? All of it. There are several layers of management within NHS England working incredibly hard from home to maximise the efficiency of the NHS, to get waiting lists down, to get everybody seen, to get back on track. Obviously that's not going to happen overnight or over the next year or maybe even this century. But let's not forget how incredibly lucky we are to have the NHS. Universal healthcare free at the point of delivery. If you can get seen by anybody, which you can't. Why isn't the NHS working? Who's to blame? Well, ultimately, the blame lies with people who keep getting ill. If people stopped getting ill, our health service would be absolutely thriving. We would be functioning incredibly well if people would simply stop coming to us with ailments. And if you do have the temerity to get ill, ask yourself, is it the sort of thing that might kill you if you don't receive medical treatment immediately? And if it's not, then leave us alone. Stop hassling us for an appointment. If you're ill, wait until the point that it gets really unbearable. Wait until you're in excruciating agony. Wait until you're spraying shit up the walls and vomiting blood on the carpet before you try to access our resources. That's the very least you could do as a responsible citizen if you want to save our NHS.